Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. We're back with more Kantai Collection gameplay. This is semi-tutorial, semi-gameplay, so if you're just interested to see how the game works, uh, by all means, I think this video will be for you, but if you also happen to have bought the game recently and you're trying to figure out what on earth is going on, even if you speak Japanese and you still don't know what's going on, I'm doing my best to explain that now. But let's just move on to the next part. So in the previous video, we just went on a battle and we've just come back from the battle and uh, you're brought back to this uh, Senryak screen, which is your tactical screen. In the tutorial, she's saying um, Ninmu uh, Kanryo, which means your, your quest was complete. So let's press the R button in order to look at the quest area. Sorry, when I drink certain types of tea, my nose gets really itchy. Oh. Now she's saying here to do shuri, which means uh, maintenance on your ships. Don't forget to do that. This is one of the main, another problem with this game is that um, they don't, they don't manage everything uh, the way that you would expect a professional game to be managed. They're like tutorial, go to the ninmu, and then they're like new tutorial, go to the uh, go to the repairs. Like okay, one thing at a time. Let's go to our ninmu. And here we can actually check up on our quest. So you'll remember that the first quest that we did before was called Hajimete no Kenzo, which is how to create your first ship. And now that it's gone blue, Tase, it means that it's complete. Press circle on it, you will get the Hoshu, which is your uh, reward uh, for completing the quest. We got 50 of each material. And we also got some material for development. Now, the more of this development material you have, the more you can create new weapons and equipment. We also got the speed up material, which is, um, ex <laughs> it looks like a flamethrower. I don't really understand how that uh, increases the speed of development, but when you're building new ships and you don't want to wait, uh, it's really useful. Now there's absolutely no reason not to accept the next quest. And it says, Hajimete no Hensei. Um, I actually believe we've already done the first Hensei, which is to create um, a team, but uh, <laughs> they've only just given it to us now. So I'm going to click on Kaishi, and as you can see, uh, because in the previous episode of gameplay we already created a team with two ships in it, uh, it's already gone to Tassei, so I'm just going to click circle it right now and collect the reward, which is petrol 30 and uh, Danya uh, ammunition 30. Oh, and as a result we also got uh, a, new, a new card. Shirayuki, or Shirayuki, Shirayuki? I think she said Shirayuki. So this is, again, I, I actually am not very familiar with the anime, so if you know who these girls are, that's, that's wonderful. Um, again, two more, <laughs> two more quests. Again, there's really no reason not to accept them. Let me just ex accept them and show you what they are. Create a team with four battleships. So uh, I don't have, I only have one battleship, I think, or two battleships now. So I'll need a couple more to fi finish this quest. And this one says, Hajimete no Enshu. And Enshu is your kind of squad procedure, is your practice. You need to, to practice to train up your ships before they go into battle. If you send them into battle at level one, they'll probably get destroyed. So, now we have to... <laughs> next tutorial. So she's, she's like, remember to fill up on your ammunition. And again, like, we haven't even completed the other tutorial they're explaining to us. And they want us to move on to the next tutorial, and get this, she's now telling us to complete the turn. The tutorials, they just don't know when to help you concentrate on what to do. First thing is this one, and the bottom left hand corner is New Kyo, and that's how you um, uh, do maintenance on ships. So any ships that have been damaged will come up on this list. You can only, you can only fix two ships at a time, unless you upgrade later. So let's click hide. Yes. Now she's going to take one day to fix, and if I wanted to speed this up, I could click uh, the blue button here and uh, speed it up. But actually, we're about to end the turn, so I don't think we need to speed this up. There's no real need to do that. The next thing we need to do is make sure that everyone's ammunition has been topped up, which is again top left if you just saw it. And you can see both of my ships need ammunition. So I'm going to click the check mark next to both of them, move to the right side, and there's two, there's three buttons. The top two are to choose petrol or, or bullets separately, but we want to just do both at the same time because why not? So we've uh, powered up, powered up all uh, both of our units. And the other thing that we can do um, before we actually start the next, uh, before we end our turn, is go up to Hensei at the top. What I'd like to do is actually add that third ship. Oh, 
But actually, I think you may discover now that we can't add third ship yet. Oh! Oh, we've got four ships. When? Oh yeah, that's right, because by completing by completing the previous battle, we got another ship. So we've actually got four. One as a reward from battle, and one for a reward from completing the tr uh, mission. As you can see, uh, it says Henkor in the bottom right-hand corner. It's not blue. That means you cannot add it to your team yet. Same one, the same with this one, because we've just received it. We can't actually add them to the team. So let's uh, not worry about adding them to the team yet. Let's go uh, to the Senhodak screen. So you can press the button in the middle or press the R button. So this time I'll press the button in the middle, but we could have pressed R. And this oh, is hello, where we end the turn. So by pressing circle on the hexagon, uh, we've, you can see the options have now um, <clears throat> reduced. There's only three options. And the, the one that we've got, I mean, information is not super helpful. It's just telling you the places that you can go. Flagship command is actually, I think, to just go back where we just were. Uh, we don't want to go back to where we just were. Turn end. So, it has now moved to day number nine. I have no idea where the first eight days went. And now she's giving us another tutorial because she doesn't know how to relax. She's saying if you send something called a Yuso Sen, which is a, like a harvesting ship, a ship that can go out and claim resources for you, um, they will create, they will get the resources for you at the start of the turn. So if you send out ships now, you won't actually reap the benefits until you click turn end, and then the next turn will, it'll become the next turn, and then you'll get those resources. So she's created a tutorial. She's saying Hajimete no uh, Haibi. And actually, I could actually go into battle now, or I could do some practice, uh, but let's do what she's saying for us to do. Let's set Haibi, which is logistics. And this is where we send our Yusousen, and uh, that's how we harvest materials. <laughs> yes. Now, she, this is where she says that it's only at the start of the turn that you will actually uh, receive the materials. And I don't know exactly how important it is how many ships you send, but I'm going to send all six. I don't have any more than that, apparently. And if you have team members that are not busy, they can become Goe, which is an escort. So not a transport ship, but an actual battle cruiser or light cruiser. You could click them here. You could actually insert them here. This one doesn't work yet for some reason. You could actually um, send them to protect the ships, but like, for some reason they don't let you do that at the start. I'm, I'm again. I'm not. I'm a little fuzzy on some of the details. So let's click uh, blue here on Kete, and we've sent our six ships out. They're not protected though, so I guess there's the risk that they could get destroyed. Now there's no more tutorials, right? Kind of confusing because they're not telling us what to do, but uh, do remember that we have the quests that we've been set. So, let's just double check what our quests were. The first one was to create a team with four destroyers, and the next one was to do um, a practice round, Enshu, right? Uh, I don't think we can create an, a team with four destroyers yet, but let's have a look. Um, we've got a team with two, two ships, a uh, light cruiser and destroyer, and we've got two more ships that we can put in, both level one, so that's pretty weak. She is a, oh, she's Cajun, so she's a light cruiser. They're actually a little more rare than destroyers. So it's gonna t let's put her in, and let's put in the other one, which is a Kuchikukan, which is a destroyer. And I think the smartest move you can do really is put the strongest ones in one and two and put the weak ones later, but I, again, it's not, I'm not 100% sure on the tactics. Let's just put them in there now. So we've got two destroyers, two light cruisers. That means we haven't completed the first quest. But if you just have a look here, because the turn has ended and the one day is complete, we now have our ship out of maintenance. Now, before we go into battle, I also want to make sure that we've got ammunition. Everyone is fully ammunized, if that is a, a term. It might not be, but uh, it is now. And I think just for pure joy let's make another ship before we go out i don't think we can actually use it yet but let's just build a ship now i'm not going to do anything special here i'm just going to make it 30 30 30 30 which is just how to create normal ships now i want to do it fast 
So I'm going to click here and click on, which is the speed up mode. And that means we don't have to wait a day. They'll create a new ship. And actually, we could complete both quests now if we can make four destroyers. So let's uh, keep our fingers crossed for a destroyer. I can't believe it! I never get light cruisers, and I'm getting loads of light cruisers today. This is awesome. So I've never seen this girl before, but she's a light cruiser. I don't know where her stats are. Hmm. Anyway, let's make one more. Let's make one more, seeing as we're on a roll. And uh, again, use the speed up button. Really, I find this quite interesting now because I didn't understand how it worked. I didn't really know what the draw was, but it's that gambling aspect. Like I'm going to gamble some resources and, and not know what's going to come out of it. And I think Japan really likes that. Okay, we got, we got another um, destroyer here, I, I don't think we can add them to our team yet, but uh, let's find out. I have a feeling that you can't until the turn ends. Oh, you can! That's interesting. So maybe... Maybe as long as you... I don't, I don't 100% know what the prerequisite is for actually putting them in the team. Maybe if you create the ships by yourself, it's okay. But if you receive them, then you have to wait before you can actually deploy them. Let's press R. And let's go and do Enshu, which is, I think, I think they, well, I don't know what they call it on this screen. I'm pressing circle. Not fleet move, not logistics, not expedition, drill, fleet drills. And we want to do the normal one, which is uh, Kantai Enshu. There's only one more option here. Let's click circle. This is, this is, this is joyful. Watch this. There's a, a movie of some battleships and your girls are just going to bounce left and right. Apparently that means that they're leveling up, <laughs> which is great. Like, typical of popular Japanese games, like you just sit and watch, and uh, apparently that's fun. But it is fun, it's just a different way of fun, so you just have to get used to it. So, Naka is level 6, which is good. She's gone up a level, Nagatsuki. Tenryu has gone up one level. She's gone up two levels, Shiryuki. I don't even know what this girl's name is, but she has definitely leveled up a couple levels. And same with this girl, she's also leveled up a couple levels. Excellent. We're in a much, much stronger position to, to go out into battle now. But I don't think we can. I think you either battle or you practice. So, first of all, uh, just because we have completed the quest, I'll go to Ninmu and just uh, receive our reward, as it were. So Ninmu, you can see one of them has been completed, which is the first Enshu. We got 30 on petrol and 30 on ammunition. And we also got one of these uh, development power-ups, I guess you can call it. Ooh, what is this? Hosen Enshu has Kaisi Sarimashita. So they have now unlocked the ability to do cannon fleet drills. Uh, before we could only do standard fleet drills, now we can do cannon fleet drills. The next one <laughs> and the next quest is to do your first cannon fleet drill. Of course, we can't do that until we've ended our turn. And in addition, before we start the next turn, we might want to check up on the status of our, our girls. I don't know if they get damaged yet. Yeah, fortunately, they don't get damaged during fleet drills, but they might. They might do. And I think I'm done here, although just for kicks, I would like to know if I can make another battleship and complete that other quest. I'm getting kind of greedy now. Let's do this uh, super fast. Don't want to wait. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Please be a battleship. Please be a battleship. What's it gonna be? <gasps> Unbelievable. <laughs> this never happens to me. I got another I got another light cruiser. I think I'm just gonna throw in the towel now. I, I, I just assume I'm not gonna get a battleship. Let's just see if we get one randomly from battle. Okay. So as you can see, all the other options are greyed out. Let's just go straight to turn end. And you can see it has moved on to the next turn. But for interestingly enough, it isn't the next day. It still says 10. Or maybe... Has it always been day 10? I can't even remember. I don't even know what day it is anymore. So here's what's going on. Uh, we can check 
we, we can now do new fleet drills or go into battle. I think we should just go straight to doing a, um, a fleet drill. Oh, but you've uh, apparently run out of ammunition, so let's go back and check our ammunition. And that's the top left hand corner. Interestingly enough, everyone has is running out. Ah, because we did the fleet drill. So when you do fleet drills, you don't get damaged health wise, but you can lose all your ammunition. You gotta make sure that you've got full ammunition before you go into the fleet drill. And now if we press R. Wow, my nose is so itchy, it's so annoying. And press circle and go to fleet drill. And let's click on, now I don't think we can do this next one, this is kind of uh, actual battle with other ships practice, but you can do this second option which is Hosen Enshu, which is your cannon. Cannon fire drill. So let's see how we go. Cannon fire drill. Let's see how much everyone levels up. I, I do find it kind of interesting now to like wait and see how strong they're gonna get. Okay, Enshu Studio. I don't know if she leveled up, but she did power up. She leveled up. One. She powered up, and as you can see, what's really the only thing that's actually changing is our firepower. None of our other stats are actually changing. So I assume from this system that if you uh, if you over level up, you can actually get to a certain level and probably max out, even though you've got like your stats are imbalanced, and at that point you may have to just toss the the towel in and, and get different cards. So I can end turn or I can go to um, flagship command or press R and it's the exact same thing. Alright so now that we've completed that turn let's go down to Ninmu and let's just make sure that we collect our reward. So you can see I still haven't created a team with four battleships but I have completed the uh, cannon cannon practice one. I got 70 of something I didn't even see and now oh we've got Torpedo, torpedo warfare practice. So now we're able to do even more practice. Look, we've got even more, um, even more quests, which I'll have to accept in a future video. And uh, I guess I could send everyone to uh, maybe the docks and stuff. But this video, I think we've done plenty in this video, showing you how to do uh, fleet drills a little more, how to uh, put your team together. <clears throat> There's just so much going on completing more quests and everything, but I will continue to make these videos and show you even more of what can be done in this game. If you're enjoying the series, do like the video, uh, comment on this on the video as well if you have input of your own, if you're playing the game yourself as well, or you're just enjoying the game yourself and you wanna leave a comment, say hi, do do that. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to uh, do all that great stuff and I will see you in the next Nihongo Gamer video. She's got magnets on her feet. First new Nintendo 3DS game. Final Fantasy XV! Ah! Someone pick up the phone! How about you, Cloud? It's shopping time! So I let her go in front of me, and she ran into the shop and she took the only copy of this. And I thought, no! Here it comes! Ah! It's like the anime, but better! It doesn't say what this is. It just, it just, it's just a piece of plastic. I, I really think, I think, I think maybe it, it is a frisbee.